Being a huge fan of horror, till the point that it becomes freaky, oh, that's why they call it that. The episodes in TV shows I tend to love most are the Halloween episodes, most notably in cartoon shows. I just love it when all the cutesy fuzzy wuzzy stuff is put aside and the tone goes a little darker. Okay, that's a little too much. Of course, the first show that comes to mind when it comes to Halloween episodes is The Simpsons. The iconic show has made it an annual tradition since their second season. Oh, I hate Halloween. The Three House of Horror episodes are among my favorites of the whole series. It is nice to see the characters we all know and love be put in parodies of gruesome horror stories. Five minutes of running? Shoot me now! Boom, that broke the ice. That'll teach them to be funny. The traditional jokes make place for a sense of humor that's a little darker and edgier. And I like that. I like edgier. Oh, that keeps happening. I like it so much that I made a list of my 10 favorite segments from these episodes. Now, you'll quickly notice that most of the Treehouse of Horror segments on this list are from earlier episodes. So if you're asking why there's no recent material on here, well, I... There's just too much to choose from, okay? I just couldn't decide which recent segments I liked the best. They're just all so great. What about the one where Homer is paralyzed and can only communicate by farting? Don't say a word. Or, or the one where... No. And what about those clever parodies of great horror classics, like Avatar? Remember how scary that was? And E.T. Transformers. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Back to the Future. And Planet of the Apes. But with couches instead of apes. For some reason. And Mad Max and Kingsman. They were popular, right? And references. Look, it's Stephen King and H.P. Lovecraft and Edgar Allan... Never mind. And oh, it's... And, and there's... References, 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 references. Because you don't need jokes, you just need references. Look, it's Frank Grimes. Remember him? Back from the day, the Simpsons were actually funny. Okay, in all fairness, it was kind of satisfying to see Sideshow Bob finally kill Bart off. He even did it again. And again. And... Jesus Christ, this is sick! Who wrote this? Ted Bundy? Okay, I think I've shit on how terrible The Simpsons are now enough. It is time to honor those moments when they were truly, truly great. Let's kick it off. These are my, my top 10 Simpsons, Simpsons Treehouse of Horror segments of all time. Number 10. Send in the clones. In this segment, Homer clones himself. Many times. It's a simple and original idea. Okay, it's maybe not original, but it is funny. Really, really funny. Hammocks! Get your hammocks! The hammock man! I'm glad he's a little early today. Homer buys a magic hammock from the hammock man that produces clones. <laughs> Naturally, Homer quickly uses this to his advantage, mainly to get out of chores. Does that seem a little dumber than usual? <laughs> May not notice. But when the clones start to turn evil, Homer efficiently disposes of them. <clears throat> so of course, it doesn't take long before the clones get out of control and start devouring everything in their path. Oh, Gil's hard work is finally paid off. <laughs> Because the setup is really simple, there is a lot of room for a lot of jokes. The idea of a whole army of homers is funny enough, but there's also some really clever references, like Apocalypse Now and Doctor Strangelove. And you said we shouldn't let little girls in the war room. Look, I was wrong, okay? Apparently, the segment is based on a movie called Multiplicity, but I never saw that. And judging by its box office, I don't think anyone saw it. Also among the clones is Peter Griffin, which is pretty clever as well, seeing that many consider Family Guy to be a clone of The Simpsons. All in all, it's not that original and it hasn't that much to do with Halloween or anything horror related, but it's filled with great gags that even after watching it a hundred times still make me laugh. Which is why it deserves a spot on this list. Which is why it deserves a spot on this list. Which is why it deserves a spot on this list. Which is why it deserves a spot on this list. Which is why it deserves a spot on this list. Which is why it deserves a spot on this list. Which is why it deserves a spot on this list. Which is why it deserves a spot on this list. 
Number 9. The Devil and Homer Simpson Another short with a simple premise, Homer sells his soul for a donut. It was about to happen sooner or later, but before Ned Flanders... You're the devil? <laughs> it's always the one you least suspect. ...who surprisingly makes for a very intimidating Satan, can send Homer to hell, Lisa demands a fair trial first. Oh, you Americans with your due process and fair trials. <laughs> this is always so much easier in Mexico. Which leads to one of the silliest courtroom dramas ever put on television. And I just love it. I simply ask for what is mine. The Devil and Homer Simpson just screams classic Simpsons. It has some great laughs, but is also visually interesting. Especially when Homer is sent one day to hell. Uh, it wasn't so bad. Huh? Oh, oh, ah, oh, oh! It also has a short but memorable appearance by one of my favorite characters on the show, Lionel Hutz, who defends Homer in the tribunal. Or at least I think that's what he's going for. But I ask you, what is a contract? Webster's defines it as an agreement under the law which is unbreakable. Which is unbreakable! Excuse me, I must use the restroom. Mr. Hutz? I mean, seriously, he makes Judge Judy look like Judge Tom Quaid. Think that's funny? You know who that is? Yeah, I don't. I just made him up. I don't know any lawyers or judges. Who do I look like? Judge Mark Felch? There's also a great reference to the 1937 Mary Melody short Pigs is Pigs. So you like donuts, eh? Except for in The Simpsons, it's funny. <laughs> And in the original, it's... So, it's food you want! <laughs> we'll give <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude, this isn't Salad Fingers, it's a children's cartoon. Who wrote this? Ted Bundy again? Anyway, The Devil and Homer Simpson is filled with clever jokes, great imagery and classic Simpsons moments. And if you don't agree... Let that ill-gotten donut be forever on your head! <laughs> Number 8 Homer 3 This may not be the funniest Halloween short of The Simpsons, not even by a long shot, actually, but it is one of the most unique, original and memorable. It's one of those shorts that always comes to mind when I think about the Treehouse of Horror episodes. Well, where's my dad? When Patty and Selma come to visit, Homer looks for a place to hide. Just a second! He gets behind the cupboard and finds a doorway to... The third dimension. Sorry. The rest of the segment is basically Homer just standing there, wasting the creator's valuable money uh. and the other characters trying to find a way to get him back. Do you see a light, Homer? Yes? Move into the light, my son. No! Homer 3 is a parody of Little Girl Lost, a Twilight Zone episode. Or as Homer calls it... It's like something out of that twilight show about that zone. But there's also other, more geeky references like Tron, The Black Hole, Mist, and some mad jokes only IT nerds can understand. I mean, who wrote this? Nerdy Ted Bundy? I kind of like that early crappy 3D animation, it feels so nostalgic. Like Star Trek, Tomb Raider 2, the Money for Nothing video. It just goes to show technology came a long way since then. Fun fact, the computer animated sequence was animated by Pacific Data Images, which would later merge to PDI DreamWorks, the studio that would bring you The Great Shrek 2 and Kung Fu Panda. And also some crap. Anyway, Homer 3 is without a doubt a classic, and surely deserves the spot on this list. It may not be that funny, but hey, it's funnier than most shit I put on in the last 10 seasons. Okay, okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Number 7. King Homer King Homer is an obvious parody of the King Kong movie from the 30s. No, the good one. Yeah, Marge plays the Andaro character, who joins Mr. Burns and Mrs. Smithers on a voyage to Ape Island, where, as you can guess from the title, Homer plays the giant monster ape we all love so much. 
This of course leads to many great jokes. Seriously, Homer as King Kong, that's just hilarious. Uh. Actually, the whole short is a barrage of great jokes. Get a snoot full of this gas bomb. It has clever references, visual gags and the greatest one-liner in Simpsons history. I think women and semen don't mix. We know what you think. At least according to Sergeant Farrell in 28 Days Later. What I like about King Homer most is how faithful it is to the classic movie. It's not just a spoof, it is also an homage. It is actually pretty loyal to the story and to the visual style. Many of the shots are authentic to the black and white movie. The Simpsons recently did a spoof to the classic Gojira movie too, and I really hated how bitter and mean-spirited it was. So the key to this movie is it's so cheap, it's funny! Then just think how popular it would be if we spent a fortune remaking it. There was no passion to the original movie at all. And it was just a lazy excuse to use as many racist Asian jokes as possible. The fool? Or the fool who thinks the fool a fool? What the hell does that mean, grandpa son? It's almost as racist as the original King Kong. Almost. I also like how they go all out on the quote-unquote romantic aspect of the story. Because, yeah, I feel sorry for the ape, but in some versions the relation between the ape and Anne is... In this version, they even get married. That's really funny. Are you with the bride or groom? <laughs> right this way. King Homer is almost as funny as Peter Jackson's King Kong. Almost. I really love this segment. It's a great parody done right and classic Simpsons fun. It almost makes me wish there was an animated version of King Kong. Wouldn't that be cool? Mother Nature's Child Okay, forget I said anything. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out part two. That's right, it's in two parts. Twice the fun, twice the views. I hope. See you in the next one.